Well, I'm very much in support of this amendment, or of this change, thank you. Speech against the man on the end, you haven't. Come on. Name? Uh, Daniel. Uh, uh, name is Daniel Rigo, R-E-G-O. Um, I was just wondering uh, how much time would be allocated for this rejection phase, and if the works being considered would be available in a packet uh, during this phase or not. Ms. Fazard, would you like to answer? Colette Fazard, as one of the makers of the motion, um, we are projecting probably about a, um, I think about a two month uh, period for the uh, review of the 15 list. The packet would not be prepared at that time. The purpose of the second phase is to essentially move forward the no award uh, possibility to the second stage uh, rather than in the uh, voting stage. Is there a speech against? You, speech against? Uh, Hold on, look at the. The woman in the far right in the white shirt. <laughs> uh, I, I'm just I'm curious about the def definition of eligible voters uh, when it talks about 20% of eligible voters, whether that is voters or is that nominators? I believe, and this, the makers can correct me, it's the voters, so it would be this current year's membership. Yeah. yeah. Yes, it would be this current year's membership, and it would not be the number of ballots returned. It is everybody who is eligible. So it would be the total count of attending, supporting, and YA members at the time of the, the close of the ballot. So it is setting quite a high threshold as to how many people have to reject to work, and that is deliberate. Yes. Uh, Colin? Gary Blog, in the um, current uh, nomination process, and or as it, will, as it will be ratified next year, it will be the people who can nominate are the ones who are from this year's Worldcon and last year's Worldcon, using an example. Is phase two, is that the same or is it just Kansas, we're using just this year I as an example? Just this year. That's what I want to clarify. Is there a speech against the motion? The woman over here. I didn't hear the answer to the question. The answer is that the second stage would be voters, which is by definition the members of the current Worldcon. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jillian Nichols. Um, I have a, a number of objections to this, but some of them have already been stated. So the main thing is this can be gamed. We will be giving an extra opportunity to a hostile minority to downvote things that otherwise would be approved. While they may not be large enough to completely knock something off, this will also incite factionalism among regular fans. And as has been seen in the last two years, it's much easier to win if you're competing against a group of works that have been nominated by the rabid puppies. If author A's fans decide that author B has already won enough and decide to downvote his stuff to make sure that their choice has a less competitive set of works to go up against, we're likely to wind up with a lot of things being knocked off because of fan factionalism, which will further incite negative feelings throughout fandom. Sarah, Excuse me, can I get your name? Mr. Bacon, speech in favor. My name is James Bacon. I'm a train driver. I understand 3SV. I don't need to read it more than two times. I can comprehend it. <laughs> Understanding the transparency is a fundamental for me in any fair system, and I feel it is a fair and democratic system. I've been a Hugo nominee and a winner. It's a huge honor, but last year was an incredible, horrendous stress and pressure, and I won a Hugo. I won one, and after winning one, I just cried because the amount of pressure and stress that is currently on fellow members of our community is totally unfair. I say to you all here, I urge you to consider 
putting this forward. But I say to you, I won an Alfie 10 hours ago. 10 hours ago I won an Alfie. How wonderful, such a beautiful thing. But I've been a frequent loser. And I would much prefer to be a loser again at any stage than to see this stress and pressure on our fellow community members continue. So I just speak in its favour. Mr. Rett, speech against. Please, please come to the microphone. There is one minute left for speeches for. I think it's a point of information. Joe Rett, I think it's a point of information. No, you need just to talk into the microphone. Raise the microphone, please. No. There's a number of people speaking that have no understanding of the No, sit down. Shh. Debate. You Debate. Sit down. Privilege. You're out of order. No. Sit down. You're, you are out Sir, of order. Sir, you are out of order. Please sit down. Do you ask for information? No, that's not a question. No, you're, you're not, not asking a question. It's uh, not asking a question. Sir, please sit down. A point of information is only for the purpose of asking a question. If you wish to present something you think is data, that is purely debate. If you want to present something about your opinion of what other people have said, that is purely debate and of questionably in order. <laughs> There is speech against the matter. Yes, uh, I'm Mike Stern. I'm still Mike Stern. Um, I'm a procrastinator, okay? And I suspect that I am not alone in being a procrastinator. One of the problems that I have with this is this is another round of voting on which I can procrastinate. <laughs> uh, and wait till the last minute and then make up my mind. No, it's, <coughs> it's not something that I can go in and make up my mind. I, there's nothing to read. Uh, I b really do, do believe what Mr. Yellow said. Uh, you got to do it on the merits of the work, and if I don't have time to read the work, um, I'm not going to vote at all. Mr. Kowalczyk, for what? Can I get his name? Mike Stern. Mike Stern, thank you. I'm terrible. You have one minute. Rick Kowalczyk, um, I really agree with what Colin Harris said. Uh, this is the best solution we have, and having actually read it, I believe, and having a computer science degree and understanding a little about statistics, I believe it is actually very hard to game the system. You need 60% of those voting to game the system, and I do not believe that any author is going to get 60% of those people voting in this phase to knock out other people. And as Mr. Bacon said, better to be knocked out at that level than deal with the uh, angst and, and whatever of this going on and on and on. The okay. current system is broken. Uh, the other thing is um, I feel that rabbit pu puppies are kind of like porn. When I, I know porn when I see it. I know rabbit puppies when I see it. There's no need to read the works to tell that something is there for the wrong reason. Is there a speech against? In favor is out of time. Ms. The woman in the UK shirt. Uh, my name is Carol Doms, D O M S. And I'm coming against, there are several good reasons, that are good, and I agree with all of them. We're looking at something that happened right now, but I think we need to look to the future of our Hugos, and yes, you've probably discussed that. But it sounds like collusion there. The secret masters of fandoms are deciding things for the Hugos. I don't think this is a good thing for the Hugos. This thing will eventually pass. There's been things, and, and I know people who've been around for a while have seen various factions come up and die down. I think that's just going to add to the fuel to the fire that they're purposely doing that. I agree with the other gentlemen that the people who made comments, the ones that won, that was their right. I didn't agree with that because I just thought it added fuel to the fire. 